What would I do if I had zero pounds to my name in my current position? Well, firstly, I would be absolutely screwed because my mortgage is over a thousand pounds a month as it is. So we're gonna just say I have no debts. I've moved home, I've canceled all my direct debits, I've canceled everything, right? I've got, don't have expenses at the moment and I've just focused on making money. The only thing is I'm starting with zero. Well, I don't have that much freedom as I'm in a semi kind of rush to get things going. I want to start making money so I can move back into my flat, right? So before I, you know, go out there and start making money, I think I know what I would do. I'd subscribe, obviously, and I'd like this video because, again, obviously. So once we've subscribed and liked this video, let's get into it. Right, so I have zero. Let's put zero on the clock, on the clock, clock, clock. I don't know why I put this clock, but let's put zero on the clock. I've got to stop saying clock. Anyways, the first thing I would do, right, is find or start doing Amazon FBA product research. Now, I know you're thinking, how the hell are you starting an Amazon FBA business with no money? I didn't say start a business, I said do product research, and that doesn't actually cost anything. And by doing this, well actually I'm gonna explain a bit later on in the video why I'm starting by doing Amazon FBA research. Now, as soon as I've done that, I'm going to sign up with through a friend for a trading app. This trading app is called Trading212, and I've actually made a whole bunch of videos on it. There, there, like I've made lots of videos on this trading app, and I'm gonna quickly show you. At the moment, right, and this isn't a scam, I'm not trying to promote this app, but this is just what I would do. This, I'm at 253 pounds and 22, right? And these were all free trades, and I'm gonna tell you how. So I signed up for the trading app, right? And then you're allowed to get 20 referrals, and every time you get a referral, you get a free share. So I got the max, I got 20, 10, 20 referrals, and that equated to 253 pounds worth of shares, right? So now let's add 253 pounds and three pence to the pot, wherever it is. And just to say, right, as a side point, my wife, my wife, gosh, it's weird to say, but anyway, my wife, I got my wife to sign up as well through my link, and then she told all her friends, her family, all that kind of stuff, and her account is actually way past 300, because the shares she got, because it's random, were much higher than the shares I got. So she's in an even better situation, or even better position right now. So that's the first thing I do. Now that I've got 253 pounds and three pence on the pot, what do I do next? The next thing I would do is I would go through my flat, well, you know, I'd go through all my possessions and decide what I need and what I don't need. And whatever I don't need, I would sell on Facebook Marketplace. Now, you guessed it, I have already done this because I really wanted to see if this video could work. So I went through all my stuff. Now, let me tell you what it is I sold. And I've written it down here because it's quite a lot of stuff, right? I sold my old camera lens. I sold that for 200 pounds. Uh, let's add that to the pot. I sold my uh, more camera gear, like weird flashes and stuff. Let's add 115 to the pot. I sold an old speaker that I had, and I'm really old speaker that I had. Let's add 125 pounds to the pot. And I sold really, really, really old speakers. These were six years old, but I still sold them. So let's add 65 pounds to the pot. I sold my old dining room table. I know that's a bit weird, but I sold it anyways. So let's add 89 pounds to the pot. We didn't need it. And then we redid our kitchen ourselves, you know, a couple uh, earlier in the year. So I had a spare fridge freezer going. So we sold that, right? And we sold that for 170 pounds. Now we were going to keep that, but I thought, nah, I'll sell it anyways. And that's another 170 pounds on the pot. Right, and finally I sold my old couch and I got 300 pounds for that. Again, something else I was going to keep, but I decided not to. Now, wait, before you, you know, give me all this hate saying, well, obviously you've got some money, you sold all this stuff. You might not have these items to sell. And that is absolutely fine. The idea of this message is not for you to go and sell camera gear and fridges and couches. It's for you to go through all your possessions and find out what it is you feel like you don't need. And if there's any item that you're like, hmm, do I use that? Do I not use that? Should I sell it? Just, just get rid of it. You don't need it, right? You can basically live off pretty much the bare minimums if you want to, and then you can use all of that money to start something big. So on the pot is now 1,294 pounds. That is a lot of money. That's a substantial amount of money. I could do so much stuff with this money. However, I want a bit more money before I go into anything substantial. Now, let me just quickly say another point for anyone who's thinking, I can't, you know, I don't have anything to sell. You literally have nothing to sell in your house. You don't even need to own the items. You could find stuff on Facebook Marketplace that is free or maybe really, really cheap, buy it and then resell it. Now, if you're wondering, well, 
Says who? Guess what? I did that as well. A friend and I actually went on Facebook Marketplace and found stuff that was really cheap. And one of one deal that really stood out was we went and we bought a TV unit for £12. We sold it within a week for £30. Now, I know you're thinking, well, well that's like, what, 20-something pounds profit, 18 pounds profit. That's not very good. It all counts. You know, it all adds up. So if you do that 10 times, 50 times, you're looking at 200, 400 pounds profit right there. So it really does add up. Now, before moving on to starting an actual business with 1,294 pounds, I'd actually go back to Facebook Marketplace and do a bit more buying and selling and get that amount to about 1,750 pounds. Once I have 1,750 pounds on the pot, I would move on to the next phase. I would start an Amazon FBA business. Now, to be realistic, I probably could have started this with 1,294 pounds, but I wanted to have a bit more money to play around with. So, you know, it's just a lot easier. So with 1,750 pounds, that is a lot of money starting Amazon FBA business. And if we rewind to the beginning of the video, what was the first thing that I did before even trying to make any money? The first thing I would do, right, is find or start doing Amazon FBA product research. Now, we're about a month later, okay, and I've got a whole list of potential products that I can go into. So I have this money and I can just get straight into the Amazon business. I can start talking to suppliers. I can start getting product samples. I can start actually ordering products in bulk and listing them on Amazon and start selling them. So we're a month into the game already. So that is just huge. Now that's what I would do if I started with zero pounds. And that's just me because I like Amazon FBA and I think it's a very sustainable business to go into. And obviously that's not everyone's cup of tea, right? You might want to do affiliate marketing or YouTube or print on demand, whatever it may be. But this is just what I would do if I start with zero. And it goes to show that there are so many opportunities out there, regardless of how much money you have. There are ways to start if you've got little money or you've got a lot of money. So don't let money be the deciding factor to, of holding you back. Now, I just wanna suggest another idea, and this is a bit of an interesting one, but way back when in phase one, I would suggest if you want to, just go out there and find a nine to five job, regardless of how much it pays. The reason for this is it will have, it will allow you to to have you know a safety net some income coming in whilst you're working on your side hustle and now I know a lot of gurus a lot of youtubers a lot of internet people say don't get a nine-to-five quit your nine-to-five you can be rich you can travel the world I'm not saying that what I just want to be realistic with you and I want to tell you that actually having a nine-to-five if you have zero income could be quite a relief, a stress relief, an anxiety relief on you, and actually creating a side hustle when you have a nine to five income coming in, you'll find yourself that it's a lot easier to create a side hustle because creating a side hustle when you've got no money coming in, the pressure and the stress can really get to you. But having you know a flow of cash coming in, even if it's a small amount, right, will allow you to have that sense of freedom and you know that ah oh, like. I'm making the side income and I'm not so dependent on it. Another thing you have to know though, by having a nine to five, you're not going to have that much time. So you're going to really be filling up your time with working your nine to five and then working your side hustle. And you can still do all the same things, right? You can still do the trading app. You can still do selling your stuff on Facebook. You can still do Amazon all whilst having a nine to five. The only difference is you now have that safety net. So it's really up to you and, and, and you'll really have to minimize time that you spend, you know, socializing, time you spend with your family, just for a bit. Like you've really got to hustle for probably like six months. But as soon as you've done that, right, you can then relax a lot more. And I would say as soon as your side hustle is earning money and not just earning money, but it's showing that it, it's safe, right? It's, it's, it's not all over the place. Then maybe consider quitting your nine to five, but only consider it. Don't just go and do it because you've made a lot of money in one month. Make sure that your side hustle is actually making consistent money for you before you go and you do something drastic like quit your nine to five. There are so many opportunities out there. You've just got to go and grab it. And I hope this video illustrates just a few of the ideas that you could, you know, grab starting with zero pounds or even zero dollars. It doesn't matter what country you're in. I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments. You know, if, I don't know if this video is going to get any views for that matter because it's just a brand new idea that I really want to try out on my channel. But if it gets any views, then let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this idea, also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and 
really the idea was I just wanted to motivate you. I wanted to give you some insight on what you could do starting with zero. And I wanna make more videos like this because I think it's really, really helpful for a lot of people. So, uh, so yeah, let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching.